To me, this is probably one of the fastest episodes we've had in Black Clover uh, in a while. I really enjoyed it, though. Don't get me wrong. It was a really good fight. And that's one of the things I love about this series with Black Clover in general is having these kind of fights. Like, these guys fight. They're, they're not necessarily drawn out like they would be in, like, Dragon Ball Z or Naruto. These, these fights are honestly pretty f simple, to the point, action-packed, and I really enjoy that. I, I really did uh, like this fight. Uh, the way Julius was able to, I think, in a way, go all out. I don't really know if he ever really went full potential, but he certainly did surprise Lich in a lot of times, and I thought that was great. I, I just, I like seeing the surprise look on Lich. I mean, we've seen him fight other people like Yami before, and he kind of saw him as equals, but Julius was on a whole nother level. This guy was that powerful, and... He honestly uh, was one of the probably better characters of the series, and I really enjoyed seeing him going up against Lich the way he did. Uh, he even didn't want to harm him. That's something that you don't necessarily see about someone that's fighting, uh, I guess, uh, an enemy. You know, he knew that William and Lich are sharing a body, and he didn't want to have Lich, you know die and willing in the process but he was willing to do as much as he could to stop him but oh, i honestly almost forgot what is up guys it's you here bring you another review on black clover and like i've already said this episode is probably one of the best that we've had in a while when it comes to black clover and fights in general i really enjoyed this fight um, and one of the things that i thought was really cool it was the the way the uh, the flashback of Julius kind of comes into play here because we see how he became the person that he was and, and what influenced him to become the way that he is. And who would have thought that Zara would have had so much of an impact on Julius's life and, you know, what came to be afterwards with Zora as well. I really like that. Because Julius was no different than anyone else from the Royal Knights. You know, he, he felt like... No, well, I don't want to say he was like everyone else, but he felt like something was missing. Something wasn't right. His purpose as a Magic Knight wasn't necessarily there. He wasn't... He wasn't at all what he was... What he is now. And, you know, meeting Zara really changed his life. You know, these those kind of encounters in life, you know, you always have them. You know, where things completely change sometimes for the better sometimes for the worse but in this case we see that zara inspired uh, julius to become a better person and you know we see how that's changed him like how he became afterwards you know meeting william and yami becoming this nice helping person who didn't care about status he didn't care about status at all it was about the person and this is what he's seeing now like he wants to find a way to save William I'm sure but at the same time he knows he has to protect these people and Lich also gets a little desperate in the fight you know I honestly was surprised to see Lich having to pull this kind of Frieza like a move and I'm sorry I'm making a lot of other anime references but it kind of felt that way in the sense that we had him you know using this major spell like because of his magic swelling up and his anger and his emotions you know against julius we see how he kind of has this whole like a bunch of like magical blades just being summoned and about to destroy the whole kingdom and we even saw uh, julius's assistant whose name i can't not remember right now he actually warns all the captains so about uh, Lich and Julius fighting and he we see the like everyone started to react we saw Leo actually motivating his guys Yami sees this and he just jumps the gun he's like ready to go he's like I have a bad suspicion you know what's going on and we see him fly up to seeing what's going on and in the fight we have uh, Julius also pulling out one of the probably OP moves of all time 
right when Lich initiates his attack, we see that he's able to freeze time right then and there. He uses probably every bit of magic he has in order to accomplish this. And like we see the blades, how close they were to everyone, both magic knights and commoners and everyone we see, and they then disappear. And we see Yami arriving right and on the worst time possible. And we see that Lich has a sword of his own in like killing Julius. Uh, and of course he goes down. And, like, the the shock in Yami's eyes. Like, he probably has never seen something like this before. I think that probably next next week we'll be having one of the most intense battles, uh, you know, following up this one that we'll ever have. Like, I'm hoping that we are. With Yami fully angry and saying, what is happening, Vengeance? What the hell? You know, he sees Julius' body going down. Uh, and unfortunately, you know, he does die because or he gets stabbed due to the fact that he can't do anything else when summoning the spell. And so because he was unguarded, Lich got the better of him. But like I said, this is one of the best, better episodes that we've had in Black Clover. Uh, fight wise, I thought it was great. I hate that a character such as Julius, who's very powerful, just having to make this sacrifice. But guys, that is it for me. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, leave a like. Comment down below your thoughts. What do you want to say to Julius if you have the chance? And I'll catch you.